Hi friends, welcome to another Immigration 101 video. In this video, I'm going to tackle a question that I am asked on a daily basis for the most part, on a daily basis. And the question is simply, how long is it going to take? How long will it take before my petition is approved or my application is approved or uh, before I'm called in for an interview? What's going on with my file and why in the world is it gonna take so long? Now, obviously that's more than one question, so let's try to focus in in this video. Now, USCIS has a terrific, terrific way website that I encourage you to check out after you've watched this video. It's simply uscis.gov. And on the homepage, it tells you, it. there's a link that's called case process in times or check case process in times. And so if you click on that link, it'll take you to a terrific page that allows you to see how long it normally takes to process petitions or applications similar to the ones that you've filed and certainly what they are up to, okay, in the queue. So here's how it works. You go on uscis.gov's website, you click that link that says check case process in times. Now, you're going to have to know which form you're searching for or inquiring about. Are you inquiring about your I-130 family petition or are you inquiring about your N-400 application for naturalization? Once you select your application in that drop-down menu, there's a second drop-down menu that asks you to select the service center or the field office that's processing your petition or your application. Is it California? Is it Nebraska or Vermont? Which service center is processing your petition? Or if it's an application like the N-400, those are decided upon at a field office, your local field office. So if you're in the New York City area, you would select the New York City field office, right? And then you scroll down to the middle of the page after you've done that, and it tells you on average how long it takes to process your type of petition or application. So it may say something like 12.5 months to 17.5 months, something like that. And then it will also tell you what date they're up to in the queue. So for example, if they are working on applications from 2016 and it's 2018, you know that you have a little bit of wait to do, right? Wait time to do, depending on when you filed your your petition or your application. If you filed it this year, 2018, certainly you have a longer wait ahead of you, right, than others. So that's one way that you can check case process and times. The other is by simply calling the National Customer Service number, in which I'm going to put that number in this video, give them a call, speak with a live agent, and ask questions about your file. But I must warn you, you're not going to get a lot of information from that person. It's just not going to happen. You're going to get basic information. And you could also put in a request to have letters resent to you if you had not received notices and other things from the government that you were expecting. Uh, you can certainly do that on the call with the customer service rep. If that fails, you can also make an appointment to go down to your field office and speak with an agent in person. And this is called an info pass appointment. And you would make that appointment online. Okay. So just do a Google search for info pass. It'll pull up the web page. You put in your zip code and it'll direct you to the field office nearest to you. Make your appointment, go down there and ask your questions. And if all of that fails, at that point, I would say time to engage someone like me, right? An attorney to do a deeper dive into what's going on. Why is it taking so long? Has your petition fallen into the black hole? Is it lost? What's happening with it? Those are inquiries that attorneys can make on your behalf. So. This is my answer to that question, what is the normal case process in time? And certainly the question of why is it taking so long? That's a different type of question actually. And that question is answered on a case by case basis. Okay. So you can go on USC, just to summarize, go on USCIS's website to check your case process in times. You can give the national customer service number a call, or you can also make an info pass appointment and go down to 
your field office in person and speak with a live person. I hope this is helpful to you. Guys, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's so many different ways of staying connected to me. And I just want to tell you that I completely appreciate your support. I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys rock. You guys are amazing. I love my immigrant community, my smart immigration community. You guys are awesome. So subscribe again to this YouTube channel, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.